March 14, 2012, my son Thomas lost his battle with the disease of addiction. I now belong to a club that no parent should ever belong to. Do you know the signs? Do you know the trends that children are doing in today's world? Do you know the signs and symptoms? Do you know the signs and symptoms of drug abuse? I want to empower and educate Long Islanders by bringing a force of professionals. And how to prevent the disease of addiction. Long Island in Crisis. I wish we had known that. Go. Good evening and welcome to Long Island in Crisis. This show is about the current pandemic of the disease of addiction. I know a lot of people like to just uh, concentrate on the heroin and opiates because it is such a huge problem in the United States right now, but it is ultimately the disease of addiction that is claiming too many lives. So tonight, I have such special guests here tonight. I have two of my dear friends that are also unfortunately in the same club that I'm in. We all lost children. We happen to all have lost sons. And you're going to hear from a parent's perspective. You know, each of us do an awful lot of work in this field, and it doesn't change our, our lives. And we so want to change your life. So please pay attention. Please just empower yourself with education and knowledge on how you can help someone that is struggling. And let me introduce Claudia Frizzell and Lori Carbonero. Hello, Linda. Uh, so, you know, I talk about Tom a lot. And actually, I know, Lori, you're coming up on an anniversary. So am I. Mm -hmm. um, not you right now. Not right. that that matters, because it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So, Lori, tell me a little bit about Nick. OK. Um, Nick was 22 when uh, the evil that is addiction stole him from us. Um, he was in recovery at the time, and uh, obviously, due to lack of early intervention, early treatment, being told no several times, to inpatient, having to deal with outpatient failure. Um, once he found recovery, it was awesome. He meant it, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Addiction, unfortunately has relapsed and his relapse yes. was fatal. Yeah. Um, just like, just like Thomas's. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. we talk about, you know, the insurance companies, failure at outpatient, all those horrible things. So I'm going to just interrupt you because sure. people need to know mm -hmm. that they can, if, if their loved one is told that the insurance company is not going to cover any additional days, mm -hmm. they are entitled to an appeal. Yes. And the insurance company must pay for the time that the appeal takes and the patient is allowed to stay inpatient. Yes. That's something that we have to get that word out there because right. too many people don't know. Don't know that. Mm -hmm. And so many times it does happen that unfortunately the person struggling with the disease says, you know, just one more time. Right. I right. really need it. Their body craves it. They're not over that that point where mm -hmm. they feel strong enough to be really out on their own. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And that's like we've all discussed about the recovery community. Yes. Needing to be stronger, mm -hmm. having better aftercare. Aftercare educating is parents. Yes. educating parents. Educating parents. So, Claudia, yes. tell us about Mark. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Mark, uh, my oldest child, um, he was uh, 15 when I... Uh, confronted him about his um, pot smoking and uh, drinking. And like many kids his age, you know, what I, what I knew and what was reality was different. Um, he was actually doing more than smoking pot. And uh, mm. I 
had previously had the experience with my brother, and my dad was extremely proactive in talking to us about um, addiction uh, early on. So I immediately got him into uh, Day Top uh, Village, which is an adolescent facility, day treatment for adolescents. Uh, <clears throat> and he did good and like your two boys, you know, was uh, on his way to a sustained recovery, but it was early and he relapsed and uh, unfortunately it, it cost him his life. Um, which it, again, you know, um, it's so important for parents and family members and our children to be educated on what happens when you're in early recovery yes. and, mm -hmm. and that relapse can happen and, and how it can affect you and, um, and what parents can do, signs and yes. symptoms. So important. Yeah. Everything's so important. But that mm -hmm. conversation, I believe, has to start in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. that, and, and no, you don't talk about everything. Right. No. You talk appropriately to a five-year-old. Absolutely. But parents certainly mm -hmm. can gain a whole education and be prepared. prepared. Right. Be, just be prepared. Proactive. Proactive. Absolutely. Not that it's going to happen, right. but it can happen. Mm -hmm. And if not this child, perhaps another child. Right. You know, you don't Absolutely. know. You have to arm yourself yes. against what's, yeah. uh, what, what could happen. What's, what could happen. Mm -hmm. And in this day and age now, so on Sunday evening, this past Sunday evening, uh, Dateline right. had on about the synthetics. Right. So we're not mm. just talking about heroin and opiates. We're talking right. about everything. Right. And unfortunately, I could bring people on that have children still alive, yes. but will never wake up because they're in, Coma. they're brain dead, they're, yeah. they're comatose, yeah. yes. they're schizophrenic, they're, they yeah. could be a host of an, because that just that one dose right. can send somebody and that forever could have been away. From one use. Right. One use. One use. That one could use. have been one bad choice. Mm -hmm. One bad choice. One bad choice. And uh, I just wanted to say one other thing. You know, I had a very unique situation in that when, um, when Mark passed, he was 18. Um, my other children were 16, 5, and 3. So from you know, my younger children who were literally babies when their brother um, passed away, um, we did have that conversation all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and the conversation that I had with a five and a three and a 16 year old was very, very different. Mm -hmm. And it progressed over the years so that it was a constant conversation. This was something that we talked about openly all the time. And, um, and, and I feel like you don't need to have, you don't need to have gone through what we all went through to have those conversations. Right. It shouldn't have to be that you have those conversations with your children because you've lost a loved mm -hmm. one. Absolutely. You know? mm -hmm. if, if, I met a mom out in West Hampton um, who had heard the commercial on Walk FM yes. that I did about right. smoking pot. Right. Mm -hmm. And she said every time it comes on pretty much the same time when she's driving her kids to school. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. every day they have just a little bit of a different conversation. Right. Because right. it's just, it you have that, that conversation. teaching moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't have to be 45 minutes. No. No. It just has to be three minutes. Right. right. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Do you know people? Mm -hmm. You know, not, don't ever do, you know, it's an open conversation. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because children, I mean, now, so we've talked about synthetics, mm -hmm. but also I believe it was yesterday on the Today Show, they talked about the benzos. Yes. Oh. So Xanax and Valium. Right. And mm -hmm. Those, mm -hmm. those are life-threatening on withdrawal also. Oh, right. Yes. Exactly. But yeah. more importantly, if you have a 12-year-old that someone's saying, well, we'll just give them a little Xanax for the anxiety, anxiety. in school. Right. The answer would be no and should be no. Right. Yeah. We have become a society that... Instant gratification. Instant gratification. No communication. Inst instant yeah. health. Mm -hmm. Just take this right. and you'll feel fine. Right. Yeah. Right. So... Yep. That goes to say with all the yeah. 
pharma pharmaceutical commercials now. Yes. We go to the doctor with what we think is wrong with us to get the prescription that we think is going to heal us, take care of the issue, rather than wait for our symptoms to show, go to the doctor, he's supposed to figure this out, and then maybe have a prescription filled. Yes. So this, you know, with the, the advertisement for the pharmaceuticals is, you know, don't even get me started. But that's another problem. It's just in your face constantly. Right. You know, and, and you want to go to sleep. Right. 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 Anything. This. You and the younger this. generation, this yes. is what they're growing up on. Yes. That, that, you know, it's not even that they even can, you know, by 18, they don't even have to talk to us anymore. Yeah. They can go to the doctor and get whatever they 18, think they need. They can even go earlier. 12, You're right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and yep. the doctor doesn't have to share right. their information because they have rights. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. They do not have rights as far as I'm concerned. Well, I certainly that, grew up yes, that way. That's right. right. I had no rights. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> my father would right. try to exercise any rights. <laughs> I really Surprise. had no rights. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got told right. well. You got read the right. Yes. You got, I got the right. I got read your right. I, I yeah. that, and I don't know about um, YouTube, but I certainly experienced that, you know, after the passing of my son. Um, you know, we all, we did family counseling and individual counseling, marriage counseling. And that was, um, you know, one of the first things. They wanted to uh, give me an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. And it was within months of yeah. my son passing. They, I, I wasn't sleeping, you know. Of course they're going to give you something. Right. Well, right. they want to give you yeah. something could... to sleep. And, and mm -hmm. I got so angry. I just had a son right. die of had an it. addiction. You, I, I, I'm supposed to grieve. Yes. I need yes. to feel yes. this. It's okay. That's right. And you know what? If I'm still doing this, you know, if I'm still grieving, if I'm still this depressed five, six years from now, Maybe we can talk about it. Right. Maybe then I would consider a drug. You know, you know right. when I speak mm -hmm. to people that are in treatment and in rehabilitation, I say that. You know, their doctors would have given me anything, anything and everything. Yes. And if I had taken up drinking to right. excess, no one would have said no, that. No would. one would have criticized me. Absolutely. And it However, was often. Yeah. What I say to them is... I could have done all of those things, mm -hmm. but whether that lasted a month, a year, 10 years, at the end of that period of time, I still would have had to sit yes. through my feelings. Mm -hmm. And the fastest way to sit through your feelings is to experience That's them. That's right. I yes. mean, isn't that what brought our kids to addiction? Because they, you know, at some point, especially because they were adolescents when they started using, they didn't understand how, how to, deal to express with their feelings and, and, exactly. and how to them. live with them and yes. how to sit inside them and right. work through them. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and it's how okay can I possibly to do be that? Right. sad, mad. Right. It's okay it's to be of life. all of those things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's okay when things aren't going right at home and you every every kid needs to have a go to person. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Grandma, grandpa, aunt, Whatever uncle, teacher, yep. coach. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Mailman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the doctor. Everybody needs <laughs> no a go to offense. person. Right. Yeah. That they can just sit and say, I don't understand how right. I'm feeling mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. We need time to listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people need to learn how to listen. Yeah. And hear. And hear. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And not yap back right yeah. away. Mm -hmm. Just listen. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's okay to say, you know what? I would. I think what you're feeling is perfectly Valid. appropriate. Yeah, yeah, right. And I think it's okay mm -hmm. if you feel sad for a few days. Right, right. And you know, I, 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 if I need a hug, I've become the hugger. Right? She yes. is the hugger. Yeah, she yes. is the hugger. And you and know that's what? Right. That's that's how I. That's that's how I. Work you know, though, I mm -hmm. think because yeah. who we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything can be said with a hug. Right. Yes. Right. So I wished, I don't know about you guys, but when Thomas passed, mm -hmm. I wish people kept their mouths shut yeah. and just gave me a hug yeah. because there is nothing you can say. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So don't yeah. say anything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just, I don't know what be to there. say and yeah. give a hug. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I used mm -hmm. to make a joke because I felt like through the first year of my grief, um, and it'll be 16 years this year, but my first year, I would, I, you know, me, I have no problem asking for a hug, you know, um, but they would rock me. Mm. And, oh. and, and one day, I looked up at my sister and I said, 
Are you rocking me? I, I, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a little seasick here. I want the hug, but the rocking, not so much. You know? but that's what do mothers do? But that's right. exactly right. You and do. I love that. And, and I, everybody I, yeah. knows that stance. That's and it. if yes. you ever see anybody, any mother oh, holding yes. a baby, everybody yes, we else rock. rocks. Everybody in the room we is rock. Yeah. They watch everybody the else is you know, rocking. So I, I got a kick out of that. And I did, um, not to say that I wasn't a hugger before the, my great loss of my son, but um, I certainly have made it a point to do that more. Mm -hmm. And it is definitely as much selfishly for myself as it is um, uh, for other people. I know it's an icebreaker. I you know don't take I anything for granted story. either. Yeah. You don't, no, yeah. never take no anything No one or for anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, yes, that, mm -hmm. that goes without saying, but I think mm -hmm. it's, when you say that, an icebreaker, mm -hmm. what a nice thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Just to, and it takes people's. Yeah, right. It takes the tone down. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just takes yeah. their anxiety Well, down. I know what Claudia said about counseling when she, when her, um, Mark passed. I, we haven't been to any counseling, Ken, uh, Mike, and I. Um, we're each other's counselors, and some people don't, you know, that's fine. It's not easy, but right. is it? Um, but what I found besides the amazing outpour of the friends and family, mine, and then Nick's friends, Michael's friends and their families as wholes coming mm -hmm. throughout the last two years. Mm -hmm. But to top it off, of course, I got even better with you guys, finding you guys. Mm -hmm. Because even though they're there, solid, I saw all his friends become men. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome. Um, their fa the family is the same thing. Uh, we have very strong friendships and, and all wonderful. I wouldn't want to take that away from anything. But when you have people that know what you're going through, we don't have to talk. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, and it, 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 it was a lifesaver for me. Um, some people in my family, while well-intentioned, um, not that they are on purpose but they don't get it right because they can't they can't and you don't ever want they have to the loss right. they have the loss too that was their either whatever brother sister right. nephew whoever they are it's, but it's different. still different right you know and um you know it's i may different. catch a little grief from some people from that but it is true yeah. we have a sadly the club yeah. the yeah. club and it like you say we don't need words we no, really there are don't. No words. God knows we use a lot yeah, of yeah, words. Right, we yeah, do yeah. use a lot we of do. words. We do. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Of angels. Yeah. yeah. You know. Are, yeah. And the earth ones, too. I mean, like Andrew and yes. her kids and Michael. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's they're all the same. Yeah. Still the same. The, it's and, like and nobody's the, gone, but they are physically yeah. gone. Yeah. And uh, for all our kids' sakes as well, their sisters, their brothers, you know. It leaves. It leaves a big mark. A big, and that's and one thing we'll, that we know is missing. Let's, let's talk about the siblings. We'll be mm -hmm. right back after this message. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash in the detail centre. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3.00 discount Monday through Thursday to 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, FormulaAutoWash.com Dad, where do babies come from? Uh, oh, well, there's a... Uh, th th there's Dad's big, shiny rocket ship. That's right, it's filled with babies. Babies of all kinds. And when the shiny rocket ship penetrates, mommy and dad goes, uh, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and when the time is just right, there's a space launch. All systems go. 
babies of all kinds. Released all over the place. Yeah, Africa. Uh, well, mommy's baby Landia. That's right, it's filled with babies. After an amazing nine months, babies. And that, son, is where babies come from. But Jake said babies come from planet. Baby Landia. You go, play with us on the bus. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Dad, where did you? I am Tom Vealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. We are the Stylistics Review, and you're watching MadhouseTV.com. Welcome back to Long Island in Crisis. And, uh, you know, we're talking about families tonight. We're talking about the impact of the disease of addiction on a family, the loss, the insurmountable loss of a child. Uh, and I hope no one else has to experience that. I really do. I, I, it's, it's beyond comprehension. It really is just beyond comprehension. Mm -hmm. I still, so on March 14th will be four years, and I wake up still and I say, did that happen? Really happen. Did it really happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because our good friend Abby even said today, I know there's, I don't want to hear about the other realm. I don't want to hear about anything. I, I want to see him. I want to know what he would look like at yeah. this age. I want to feel him. I want to hug him. I want to talk to him. Yeah, right. And I think, I know not a day goes by that I wish. The same. Of the course. same. Yeah. You know, would, would, yeah. They, would they be engaged or, or have family or, or any or all of those things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. unfortunately, that was not their journey with us. Right. So you have, just, to, you have to be. Just thank God. Just thank I do. I just thank God that, first of all, all guys are together. I'm sure of it. Absolutely. And uh, secondly, that, you know, we found each other, but also that what we're trying to do together can maybe help at least that one family or that one child or that one loved one to be able to see their recognizable future, their, their right. recovery. Yeah. You know, so, you know. It, Claudia, I mean, on, on the break, you said something interesting, and it, and it is the three Cs. Right. You didn't cause it, you can't change it, mm -hmm. and, you it. and you can't cure it. Right. So I'm, I'm just, you know, just a feeling that I have right now that many people may think, oh, they just do this to make themselves feel better. Mm. Yeah. I can look myself in the mirror and say, and know that I did everything that I could right. have done. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, none of us knew that our kids didn't have that shutoff valve. Right. Yeah. They didn't have the turnoff valve. Right. It's a disease. Mm -hmm. right. And whatever turned that disease on, it was off to the races after right. that. They did right. make one bad choice. Absolutely. As a kid, they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As many. As many. As, as many, many kids do. As many yeah. people do. People mm -hmm. in general. You know? Absolutely. And that's why education yeah. and yeah. being empowered and yeah. being an advocate and all the things that people are doing now trying to catch up. Mm. You know, unfortunately, it's never going to make up for our loss. No. But it has to be in the schools as early as kindergarten. kindergarten. Yeah. It has to be talked about openly the way we've been trying to do, the recovery community. or has to be. If it isn't, we're, we're just putting our heads, you know what they say, sweep it on the rug enough, you're going to trip and fall flat on your face. And that's what's been happening. Absolutely. You can't hide and it anymore. And there is time in the school day mm -hmm. to have this happen. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want to ever hear that excuse because no. 
dead kids don't test well. Absolutely. Right. High kids don't test right. well, mm -hmm. and they don't go on to good colleges. That's right. Absolutely. That's so, right. Yeah. are we trying to raise good, well-rounded adults? Right. Or is each school district trying to get, you know, the accolades for being the best school district right. mm -hmm. in their mm -hmm. community? Right, yeah. right. So, you know, why did you go into education? Why did you go into all those questions only those people can ask themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not to keep your tenure and not to do, because if you do the right thing, the right thing will come back to mm -hmm. you. So we need to take a step back and we need to ask. We need to. Engage. We need to be a community. Right. That's we right. need yeah, to yeah. engage. A village we does raise a child. Yes, right. it, it, and it does yes. take all parts mm -hmm. of the community. It Absolutely, takes your, your your religious, you know, whatever it is that you believe. Whatever, whatever you believe what, in. Whatever faith, whatever group that you belong to, mm -hmm. um, you know, and and your civic communities and. The school uh, district, the school certainly. District. Absolutely. Girl Scout, Boy yeah. Scouts, sports, clubs. We all have clubs. to have that conversation. Everyone you need, needs. You need it to have. You need to have it. That's I, right. You know, I showed you that paper that my dad wrote in 1967. He he had encouraged that the only way we were going to fight this was from all parts of the community. That's right. It Absolutely. Had to be all parts. Of the and community. if you see something, not just say, say something. something. Right. And you know what. Forty years ago, that was I, I can remember as a little kid, and and yes, maybe I'm dating myself now, but I can remember as a little kid if one of my neighbors. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Too, I was just as scared as if my mother saw me doing right. something. Right. Absolutely. Because right? you knew she was going to go Because if if one down. of your neighbors mm -hmm. said, yeah. what are you doing over here? Yeah, right. Right. Oh boy. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm dead. If I did something wrong at the end of the block, that. by the time I got yeah. home, that person saw it. They called, you know. It, of course, called. you walked yeah. in, you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what were you doing just, over there, exactly. Lori? Exactly, right, right. exactly. Right. Yeah. You know. They have a great little cartoon, three Italian Nonas standing on the <laughs> on the fire escape. And that was the. Right, the, yes. yes. That yes. was exactly. the surveillance camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I think it works better. Yeah. It did work better yeah. because did. all kids you respected. You were afraid of them. Yes, that's you, exactly right. They respected right. Yes, they your, did. your neighbors, your Can I go back to something elders? you said before? Yes. Before I lose track of it, you said something about some people might think we do this for our own self-gratification or right. um, to feel good about ourselves. You know what? Kind of. Mm. I mean, um, I knew that when Nick, before Nick passed away, that I wasn't sure what if I'd ever come back from something like that. Who, what mother could? Right. You would think, you know, mm -hmm. what, why? And I knew that once it happened, I really never thought it would happen, but once it happened, the only way I could survive it was to do something. He didn't have to die for, it's not like they die for nothing. Mm -hmm. There has to be a legacy left in a good way, a positive way. And if we are the ones, we took them through their lives, we may not have. Maybe made all the right choices, but we did the best and, we could. And I'm going to stop you right there because this is how I love to say it. Go ahead. We all did the best job we could. at the moment in time that we were mm -hmm. with the with information we had. Okay. And well, the that's knowledge true too. in your own mind. Yes. You know, us looking back now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If we knew. You, you oh, yeah. my goodness. The yeah. education that you've gotten. Right. Mm-hmm. You didn't have right at that moment in time. Right. But right. every parent that's listening right now or every family that's listening. Get educated. Get educated. Yeah. 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 I, Don't you know, wait. Reach out. Talk to that's everybody. Right. Everyone. Yes. Yes. There's no shame have in it. Communication there is no shame in it because. And your clergy and everybody. Everybody. Your pediatrician. Divorce yeah. is, is a normal everyday occurrence. You know, other deaths happen in a family. Right. Life events happen in families. And as parents, what happens in a 10-year-old or 11-year-old, instead of saying, I'll just get over it, they're not. Yeah. Their mental capacity is what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So talk to them about it. Right. It is a big deal to yeah. them. Right. Help mm -hmm. them through that. Right. right. You know, as parents, I know how tough it is to live on Long Island. I'm a single mom on Long Island. You know, mm -hmm. it's not easy to live here. Yeah. Dinner time conversation, bedtime yeah. conversation, first thing in the morning, you have to make time yeah. mm -hmm. for each other. Right. Because why else do you have a family? Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know, do you have the 2.3 yeah. children because that's what you're supposed to have? No. Enjoy yeah. them. 
Be Make selfish. Yeah. Right. Be selfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sunday morning's family time. Right. Friday, what, whatever, whatever it, whatever it whatever is. It yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Make mm -hmm. it happen in your house. Right, right. You know, and yeah. unfortunately, you know, we did eat dinner together at night. Yeah. None of these bulletproofs you. Right. right. It really, That's nothing's going to bulletproof. That's why you need the whole, as they say, the whole The whole tool. shebang. Yeah, that's whole right. Shebang. Yeah, that's absolutely. right. And yeah. that's, that's exactly right. And I one. feel that I, in my district, not especially, but I will say, they're doing a disservice to those kids by not getting a program in, especially at this time, mm -hmm. into the schools. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand it. I never will. Some schools already have gotten funding for this, and it's just, it's, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. It makes no sense whatsoever. Well, we need, we need, you know, we need programs that are prevention and wellness. Yes. Right. You know, the scare tactics, right. yeah. they don't work. Yeah. Kids are not scared. Yeah. Right. You know, but sometimes and educated I, I said is to the main Steve thing Chasman too. one time when I heard him speak, I said, wow, mm -hmm. if I was using something and you named everything, mm -hmm. I'd, be, well, I'd like to try that. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, it does pique the curiosity, the mm -hmm. curiosity mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. mindset. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. can and especially happen. where they're at. Where they're at. Where they're yes. at. Right. Maturity wise. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there, there's so many pieces to this. Mm -hmm. So many pieces. Mm -hmm. You can't scare Which is why you 14, 15, on. 16 right. year olds. You're not scaring no. them. No. And that's not appropriate to scare little kids. Right, right. right. So, but can you teach them how to coping skills? Coping right. Skills. Relaxation right. skills yeah. mm -hmm. without taking, you know, yoga, meditation. Absolutely. All of those things. Being right. present. Being present. Yeah. Just being physical. These yeah. days, the physical. Yeah. We had the phys ed, right? And I mean, we and that's really been, phys ed. And that's been cut, cut, cut right. back. Right. Yeah. All of these things do a disservice, but we're going to pick up, we'll pick up on that right after this message. Hi, I'm Tatiana, and I'm a person in long-term recovery from heroin addiction. It was really, really hard, waking up in the morning, not knowing what to do, and needing my next bag. I was so lost, but I'm here today to tell you that there is a solution. When I was in my active addiction, I didn't realize that there was another way of life. I thought that that was the only way, because it felt so good to get high, but it was all an illusion, and I didn't realize that. But today, being four years clean and sober, my life is absolutely amazing. I'm able to travel. I don't need a drink. I don't need a drug. I'm just happy being with myself. I couldn't understand for many years why. Why was I doing this? It's because I was an addict, but I didn't know it. Today, many kids are becoming addicted to drugs and alcohol, but they don't know exactly what they're getting into until they're out of it. And it's our job, it's my job, to stand for these kids, stand for their recovery, and fight for their addiction. So I'm the president of Onward Forever, and I provide recovery services and support. And we're here to help. We're here to just listen. Anything that we can do to help. If you need me, this is how you get a hold of me. Please call 347-244-1550. 347-244-1550. I developed this company to help you, our families, and our community to fight this crisis on Long Island and in our nation. Thank you. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family-owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best-in-class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all-day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure 
your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Welcome back to a, a very special night on the show tonight, that's for sure. And we could, we could talk for another three hours. You may not want to listen. You may not. But exactly. But. Of course they would want to listen. <laughs> yes. But so, coping skills, right. relaxa relaxation techniques. Health in general. Health yeah. in general. But physical education, to cut that, that's that is ridiculous. not. Ridiculous. It, it, it is, is ridiculous. First it off. It is a vital. Children need mm -hmm. to get rid of energy. Right. Mm -hmm. They yeah. think better. That's mm -hmm. that's been proven. Right. You gotta let them. Right. And yeah. it's absolutely vital and necessary. And endorphins, positive right. endorphins right. that make yeah. them feel good. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, these are all things that have to. We should all be part of the education. You need a well-rounded. Yes. You know, when you're educating, it's not just book smart. Right. It no. needs to be. You need to have a healthy mind lifestyle. and lifestyle mm -hmm. and for lifestyle. your brain to grow properly yes. and to be able to retain that information mm -hmm. and utilize it properly. But, you know, our mm -hmm. kids are all Possibly. really yeah. about the same age. Do you remember, yeah. um, what were they, e ELPs? Do you remember that? ELPs, class? well, that's yeah. another thing. Yeah. So yeah. that test, I remember mm -hmm. driving my kids yeah. and the anxiety level yes. of yeah. my my third and fifth grader, mm -hmm. for all this extra help, and the yeah. teacher was so consumed with that. With yes. that, yeah. right? It's like taking my daughter to dance class, right. and Recital. don't teach her the dance that I'm going to also pay fourteen thousand dollars for at the end of the year with <laughs> yeah. the costumes and everything. <laughs> right? Teach her how to dance. That's why I yeah, loved yeah. Irish step dancing. Right. Mm -hmm. Every kid started yeah, at the, the beginning. Same. Right, right. right. Yeah. 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 Just teach her the right. fundamentals. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the... Yeah. Charge more for the no lessons the during the, the year. No kids needed uh, Xanax or some right. kind of... Exactly. Uh, you know, coping. They just couldn't do it. I yeah. mean, I just, you know, not that they couldn't do it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm sure they're all very intelligent children. Right. But if the anxiety at that age... At that age. Form, mm -hmm. Yes. And the uh, teachers you know, were stressed out. The teachers yeah, were beyond. Right. You so, know, and how does, you know, even if your kid wasn't stressed out about the test, but he's feeding off the, um, the stress off the teacher. Right. And Absolutely. And the administration. I mean, they, it's crazy. And the same with the core, common core. But you I mean, know, one of my neighbors <laughs> is actually uh, a, school, yeah. a school yeah. psychologist. And talking to him, you know, when common core... He had teachers, first grade teachers, that were ready to quit. Yes. Right? Because yeah. they just couldn't. Now, what are we doing? That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I, I'm That's all for education. keeping education at a level, right. you know, and always challenging. Yeah. Right. Always challenging. Because when you ask children to do more, they usually do step up to the right. plate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But there should be nothing attached to it. Right. Right. There are ways to measure success other than just with, a standardized test. Right. Well, and, and I mean, even their studies have proven that not all kids test well. Right. Yeah. So right. Uh, they Absolutely. may be scoring, you know, below levels, but yet what, uh, their performance on a daily basis is off the charts. Right. Because right. they're not under the pressure, not under pressure of a timed test. Right. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. uh, it's, that's, yeah. Yeah. No. Talk on that. For, we, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, forever. but yeah. you know, we we just mm -hmm. need family. You know, the destruction of the family in the United States right now, and there is a destruction of the family yeah. in the United States right now. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was a kid, 
Sundays we didn't do anything because right. things weren't open on Sunday. But yeah, you went to that. church, mm -hmm. yeah. you had an early dinner, mm -hmm. and it was family day. Right. Yeah. We don't. We don't have a day. We no. don't have a day. Mm -hmm. We don't have a day. And people are forced, especially in this area, right. in, in New York, on Long Island, everything's expensive, and you're always competing right. for more to do better. To you know, it's a rat race. Right. Yeah. Right. And you know, I think that that it does have a lot. It has a lot to do with it, but it has a lot to do with parents yeah. coming home and maybe saying, "Well, I'm gonna, you know, I had a really bad day. I'm gonna have a beer or a glass right. of wine." Yeah. And I'm not the police for that. Yeah, right. right. But wait till your kids go to bed right. because yeah. kids it's look to their parents. How yeah. how does mom and dad handle stress and anxiety? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's mm -hmm. by having an alcoholic beverage. Well, then why are you surprised when your 12-year-old says, I want to smoke pot. I want to smoke pot or drink a drink beer. Right. Because mm -hmm. that's what I know will help me mm -hmm. escape and give me a good day. Right. Yeah. Make mm -hmm. me feel happy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always say it. Little babies can swipe your iPhone, the iPad, oh, everything absolutely. else. Right. They are your biggest fans, mm -hmm. and they're watching your every, every move. move. That's right. Yeah. So how do you? So Come why home. wouldn't you want to have all the proper information, education to feed them? If you're going to give them a Nurture. nutrition, yeah. you might as well give them the right education. Absolutely. So they can walk out the door and feel at least a little bit safe, a little bit empowered, and that they have, you, mom and dad are supposed to protect, right? Yes. You can't be there to protect all the time. Give them something that can help Some them. Some tools. And, and I hate to put, go get down on the parents, I really do. But, but we're not criticizing we're, or no, judging. We're, no, we're, we're just, not. We're but just, we just giving just, what we learn. I'm actually begging. Yeah. I'm not really criticizing at all. I wish there was something like this 15 years ago that yes. told me the truth. Right. Yes. Okay? That I didn't fall actually to the whole idea while still well-intentioned, and I believe it. A mother's love, if we could, if we could have cured, uh, cured uh, the addiction, it would have happened. Right. Oh, None yeah. of us... Yeah, yeah. It would have happened. Yeah. Yeah. All love couldn't cure it, fix it. Mm -hmm. We have to have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have to have the education so we can pass it to them. Yeah. Yes. The school districts have to have something in place so while they're gone from us X amount of hours, they have something else to learn, to understand, to be able to use that. You know, I just, and, and, and talk amongst each other about it. Yeah. We could teach them what we want at home, right? Yes. Right. Okay, and that's great because we're supposed to and everybody tells us, well, it should begin at home. And yeah, okay, I believe right. that. But once they leave the house, we all know, did we remember everything mom and dad right. said that we were supposed Needs to do? Needs to be reinforced. Exactly. Right. And at school, if the kids are learning at least a common thing that's what's not right or what you should do, whatever, now they can have a conversation maybe about it. Mm. They were approached by somebody, maybe mm. if it's all... If everybody's got the same information, right? It's more of a you know, it, it it's it, more it, of an army. Yeah. <laughs> if we and don't want to be where we're going to be, this, in the same place five years from now, we have to we have to start yeah. still access to treatment. Right. Absolutely, oh my God. Physi prescriber education, all That's of those things have to come this way. Right. But we have to start to build Up the from right. the ground kindergarten army. Forward. Forward. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, parents, you're, I remember being, when my daughter first went to kindergarten, you're scared to death. You don't, right. you yeah. don't want them out of your sight. Right. But empower them. Yeah. Empower mm -hmm. them. But look at all to the take things a that breath. you did to, yes. to prepare them for kindergarten. Mm -hmm. You know, you they're, they're, you got ABCs, them. ABCs, their numbers, their, shapes, their yeah. colors. You know, there are also some other social and coping mechanisms that we can encourage and mm -hmm. breathing yeah breathing if you get yeah. upset yeah. you know you can stop for I, a minute I, I and did take that a with breath my my yes. youngest daughter victoria she still laughs we still do it she's 20 she's gonna be 21 <laughs> and you know she's getting ready for a test and every once in a while she'll call me or text me and say come on mom you know in through your nose, out, you know, because we would go through that. Right. Um, and we both needed it. I certainly, Absolutely, while I was but, going you know, I, through I my, do practice you know, yoga. Yeah. And I will tell you, through, yeah. through my, especially my son's wake and whatever, oh, I, I went oh, to my breath oh. a lot. Mm -hmm. 
a mm. lot. Yeah. Mm. And it kept me sane. Yeah. yeah. And focused. And focused. Yeah. Right. Right. And but to be foot, able to yeah. control your body and mm. your anxiety level within mm. yourself is something to be said. Yeah. It's empowering. Yeah. It is empowering. It really, really is empowering. Absolutely. And when you teach them that that young, that's magic. Right. You that's have control. Yes. You have that's control. A gift it is a gift. Yep. That yes. you give it's also a gift to them. empower them with their words to say, right. you know, this is bothering me. Mm -hmm. And to have yeah. the person mm -hmm. hear, not listen, but not hear judge, what saying. hear what they're saying. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And come up with a strategy. Right. You know, we, we also, as parents, have to get away from not my kid. Right. Yeah. And what are you going right. to do? Right. He, he didn't deserve a B. He deserved, right. yeah. you know, don't. Right. You Fighting know? all their battles yeah. for them. You can't fight their battles. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They need to That's learn. the consequence yeah. for their actions. Right. And for maybe not doing the best job that they knew how to do. Right. Or it can be the consequence of, of two opposing personalities. Right. Your kids are not going to like all their teachers, and right. all their teachers right. are not going to like every child in the mm -hmm. class. Right. Let's, right. And that's the way of the world, and that's life. Right. And that's coping. Yeah. How do I get around this? How do I cope with this? Mm -hmm. All important skills. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You have to let them experience life, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things, you know. Um, and it I, can break your heart. It yeah. It can break your heart. But, you know, um, so, you know, I have the family support group. And one of the first things that I always remind people is that when you were teaching your child how to ride a bicycle, you held on to the back. Mm -hmm. But there was a point in time you needed to let go. Yeah. And although you stood there and you cringed and you hoped that everything would be okay, you did let go because otherwise you'd still be, they'd be 20 years old and you'd still be <laughs> holding on to that bicycle. And I know in your heart you want to, but you're doing them a disservice because yes. in them doing it themselves and learning that, oh my gosh, I'm doing this, it gives them pride and self-worth and, and wow, look, I accomplished And they're going to fall. This. And they're going to fall. fall every and day they need to life. be able to deal with I'm resilience. I'm and you're not to pick them up. I right. didn't pick them up. I let them get up and get on the bike. As, and it, it killed me. Mm -hmm. But that's important to go through that. But in, yeah. in every yeah. stage, they're going to fall. In every right. stage. Exactly. Every stage, they're going to fall, whether, whether it's academically or in sports. Or Love. They're going to yeah, have yeah. disappointments. Yes. Whether they're 5 or they're 32. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Oh, that's hard. It that's is hard. hard. It is hard. It's hard being a parent. So Monday nights... Yeah. At Hope House. At Hope House. In Port Jefferson Station, yep. Long Island. Yep. 7 at 7 p.m. We, we meet from 7 to 8.30. Um, it's and a it's family just, support group. Family support. So this is yeah. for families that are in the midst of in any someone stage. struggling with, right. with the disease of addiction. Right. So it doesn't it's, matter which family nope. member. And it no. could be friends. I do have people who come. I, I have a couple of young people that come who's, uh, ha who has a friend that struggles. And they, you know, want to learn, be educated. I, I, we definitely mix it up. And we are a support group. We're not counseling each other. We're right. supporting each other and mm -hmm. educating each other, sharing resources. Um, you know, sharing experiences sharing and what, experiences. what works yeah. in one family's house may work for you right. or in, yeah. and it may not. And, but, and we right. share all the that. more it's tools a, in your toolbox. Absolutely. That's it. You know? So yeah. the, the biggest thing is, you know, yeah. when, when the person's struggling, yeah. the family really goes through. You know, so we talk so about much. health consequences. Right. It's not just the person struggling. No. Yeah. No. So mom and dad. And High blood and pressure. Yeah. Yes, the yeah, siblings yeah. have, you know, voices. Mm -hmm. If you ever really want to know something, too, you can always go to the siblings. Go to the siblings, bribe them. Lot. Yes, yeah. <laughs> information. Whatever it know, takes. But yeah. Because, you know, yeah. as a sibling, you never want to yeah. tell on your brother right. or sister. And with that comes a lot of guilt. Right. A lot of guilt. Yeah. Especially but, if yeah. we lose them. It, it's a yeah. lot of guilt. The yeah. survivor's guilt, guilt is yeah. really yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and that's why we do need more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because I know, you know, Thomas was the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my daughter always, 
she's, she thinks she should have done more for her baby brother. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my youngest son found his brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that all, yeah. everything yeah. leaves such a huge yeah. hole. Right. Never right. mind that experience of, of going through the death. Right. But now, you know, my oldest daughter, you know, there's that person in the middle that used right. to. Yeah. It's that empty spot. Yeah. yeah. It's the chair. It's mm -hmm. the chair, it's the everything. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's um, and it sucks. It sucks. It sucks every day of the week. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I think all of us, and we've talked about this, you know, it affects each family member different. And Absolutely. just as everybody's grief grief is very unique, theirs is uh, very unique as well. It's from a different perspective. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um and uh, you know, although uh, there are those who haven't lost someone um, who are struggling with this disease, those siblings, the cousins, everyone, they, everybody is struggling with this, and they all need um, support. Right. They need support. They need a place that they can speak and safe. feel safe mm -hmm. and feel safe. That's we talked about last yeah. night at my group. Is this and was a place safe. that everybody felt safe, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes if you want to just come to the group and just sit and cry, yeah, it's mm -hmm. okay. So we we, yeah. we do have Al Anon, yep. Families Anonymous, Narnon, Naranon. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you know, Anthony Rizzuto runs, runs a, a group. Seafield runs mm -hmm. that really great group. Um, mm -hmm. It's Family Education. Family and Education support. Series. Um, LICAD also. LICAD. Um, in Suffolk and in Nassau, Saturday mornings, they run um, family support groups. Um, uh, there's uh, my group. I'm trying to um, reach out to other organizations to find out so that we can refer, um, you know, Someone called me this morning, and they have um, they had a cousin that was in South Shore and Nassau, and I said, "Oh yeah, Seafield runs a group on Monday nights. You know, you can send them here." And very yeah. important to get engaged in uh, something absolutely. for the mm -hmm. family yes. members. You need yeah. your own coping skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to set your own healthy boundaries. Absolutely. The person struggling mm -hmm. should not be That's running why. the household. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you all need to mm -hmm. step up. Because, you know, the, the, I think the biggest thing to say about that is if, if the rest of the family has healthy boundaries, you, you are going to start to steer the person struggling to a place where they're going to ask for help at some point in time, maybe a lot sooner. Right, right, right. right. You know, and for all the parents that say, well, my child's only smoking pot and drinking beer. Yeah, yeah. So, and, Just. and we say to that, that maybe not every person who drinks and smokes pot will wind up a heroin addict or an addict an opiate at addict or an addict at all. But every addict we know started with pot cigarettes, alcohol. pot, alcohol. And they've admitted that. You know, if you, if you, the yeah. one question that anyone should ask themselves is, can you see inside their brain? Do you know, Do you are know? they susceptible to diabetes right. or heart disease mm -hmm. or the disease of addiction? Right. You don't know what's going to set off anything mm -hmm. right. in the world. So, right. you know, especially, I didn't know out of my three children yeah. that, that he... It's Russian roulette. It That's is right. Russian roulette. Would you play Russian roulette with your child? Right, yeah. exactly. You? No. No. And this is Russian roulette. It is Russian roulette. It, it, it is. really is. So no 12-year-old should be doing... Any substances. None. Right. right. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Not. Would you, you know, would you let them, you know. What is Kim Lobby? How, how much, how much, 600% higher risk of becoming an addict if you well, introduce. Well, you know, Kim right? Lobby, who yeah, yeah. runs our program, Hugs, mm -hmm. right. um, and is an outstanding prevention specialist. She's yes. awesome. Addiction is an adolescent disease. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So if we can get our kids at least to the age mm -hmm. of 21. Mm -hmm. When, when it is legal then to drink. Right, mm -hmm. right. Chan the, the chances for them to have the disease of addiction go down, down so yes. dramatically, yeah. mm -hmm. right. so dramatically. Right. This is a conversation I have, I've had with my kids, I think I've told you, you yeah. know, it's almost become a joke within my family because you know, I kept saying to them it was so important, you know, my younger uh, you know, to, you know. If, if 
every parent wants their child to be the star athlete, the scholar of this, whatever your sights that you set. So if they're doing drugs or alcohol or putting other substances in their body, they're not going to reach the potential that certainly you had set for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we want the best, being an adolescent doesn't get to include all of those things. Right. Right. And you alive. can, we can, we they can all, alive. and we can all say that we, by the grace of God, we did do things when we were kids, right. and by the right. grace of God, but there are a lot of people that didn't, didn't. come through that right. unscathed. Right. right, right. So, mm -hmm. we know better, we need to do better, mm -hmm. we're here to help anybody right. That's right. that could possibly want anything. So we have the FIST Facebook page, yes. Families in Support of Treatment. treatment. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. You can certainly, you know, Thomas's Hope, um, Linda Ventura, you can Facebook message me, anybody that needs something, because if the three of us change but one life, we've done a really great job. Mm -hmm. Because each person that we can change in a way is going to go on to change other people. And this is, this is how... Change Society is going to happen. Plant you know? the seed, it'll yeah. grow. Plant the seed, it'll grow. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. being you. here tonight. Right. We'll have them back. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a great week. Empower yourself. Educate yourself. Thank you. See you next Tuesday. Can you believe that was an hour? No. No. no.